Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about the top nine wedding fashion accessory trends for the bride. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know if there's a particular video, topic, anything you'd like me to create for you, I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal, located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, be sure to follow us at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert on Instagram. Last week, I spoke about the top seven wedding dress fashion trends that are currently happening as I gear up to head to New York Bridal Fashion Week in April. I am so excited, so be sure to follow at Wedding Fashion Expert on Instagram to see what I'm up to and what designers we're buying, what we're seeing on the runway, and all those beautiful details. That being said, it was only natural for us to dive into accessorizing trends for the wedding dress this week. Without further ado, trend number one is statement earrings. Bold earrings, I am seeing this everywhere, even on the red carpet. We're seeing so many people really going really, really big and dramatic on the earrings. And there is a reason for this that I personally love. It draws the eye level up and really frames your face beautifully. So really driving the eye up to your face. I am such a fan of this. I have a whole video on how I recommend you accessorize your wedding look. I will link that for you below to enjoy after this video as well. Trend number two is hair accessories. Hair accessories have always been around in bridal, right? However, the ones that a lot of our brides are asking for, requesting, what's really trending right now is floral detail, crystal detail, and believe it or not, crowns are super, super hot right now. We're also seeing what I like to call a micro crown. So something really, really subtle and soft. It's perfect for a bride who's always dreamt of wearing a crown, but maybe when they put on a bigger crown, they feel a little childlike, like they're playing dress up and princess. I've heard that from my brides. I'm a fan of drama, so give me the big crown. No judgment at all from me on that. But a micro crown is something that a lot of our brides are really, really loving. It makes them just feel a little bit more like them and a little more comfortable. The one tip I'll give you for accessories, don't be afraid to go bold because when you're trying your accessories on, you're very close and in front of the mirror, but imagine everybody seeing you on wedding day from a distance. So I actually encourage you as you're trying on accessories to take a photo, but also step away from the mirror and see things from a distance and everything that you're trying on, you will realize isn't as big as it appears when you're super, super close. So don't be afraid to go a little bit bigger. I'm a huge fan of having something in the hair and an earring. So these are two trends that I fully agree with and I talk about in my accessorizing video. Trend number three is layered necklaces, really just making a statement with the necklace. Something I want you to think about if you do decide to go something trendy with a bold necklace of some kind or something layered, be mindful that if you're doing a night out, right, wearing a necklace makes sense. But for wedding day, if you plan to have something on your head, a veil, a tiara, earrings, then a necklace, then your bouquet, on wedding day, it just becomes like a lot of components happening. So I'm a huge fan of a bare neck, especially if you have detail on your dress, like some sort of a sleeve or a neck. It just becomes too many components for my personal taste. I don't wanna clutter the look. The goal with accessorizing is really accentuating you, right? This is why I lit up about the bold statement earrings because I'm like, yes, frame the face, bring the eye level up. That, those are things that get me really excited. If you're doing a necklace, simple, simple earrings, simple in the hair. So you don't want all these really big components happening and maybe opt for a smaller bouquet because if you have a big bouquet, statement necklace, and then all these things, it becomes very messy. People don't know where to look and it just becomes really busy. Busy is a better word than messy. It becomes really busy and it takes the attention off of you. So accessorizing, the goal is to really complement and highlight your features and just 
finish off the look. Trend number four is veils. Veils have never stopped trending. It's just the type of veil that you want to go for. Something that we're seeing a lot in veils is 3D appliques, 3D flowers, and really adding in this dimensional component on a flat piece of tool. So we are seeing some really creative things happening in that regard and lots of like all sparkle material that we're seeing when it comes to veils. So veils are always trending. The way in which we're doing veils, the material, the manipulation of fabric, that's what's really trending and making a super bold statement with your veil. I also have a video on how to select your veil. I will link that for you below as a resource as well. Trend number five is a bold shoe. I love shoes and I love this trend. This is something that has been trending for me my entire life because I am a shoe gal, a purse gal, give me all the shoes and bags. I have always been like that since I was a kid. Don't know where I learned it from, but it's a thing. So a bold shoe, yes, of course, traditionally people often would go with an ivory, a lace shoe. That's what we typically see. Ever since Sarah Jessica Parker wore the Manolo Blahniks that are blue, we're seeing brides, of course, incorporate that blue as the something blue. I've also seen brides go with a satin shoe, maybe an emerald green to match the color of the bridesmaids or the wedding theme. So we're definitely seeing bolder statement shoes, studs, sparkle, you name it, but definitely a shoe moment is happening. I also have brides that are doing tennis shoes that they completely trick out with sparkle or they have them spray painted and do really cool designs on them. So if you're a shoe person, this is something that will definitely speak to you for wedding day. Have fun with it. Be bold with it. The one thing I'll say is have a backup shoe that's the same heel height or the same exact height of what you're wearing so that you have backups to kind of change either the arch. So if you don't have a platform, switching to a platform is good. Just adding that different support. It's really difficult to be in the exact same shoe all day. So I recommend having backup shoes. I'd say keep it simple. Go with a nude. Go with something really simple that if it peeks out, it doesn't really make such a big deal. The other thing that I will add with bold statement shoes, if you're opting for a dress that is not a big ball gown or a really full mermaid, once that dress is hemmed to you, if it's if the dress goes a little bit more straight, your foot's going to peek out as you walk. So when you're trying dresses on, they're usually too long on you. You're standing on the pedestal. You're not really walking in it, so you don't see that your feet are showing. So if you do go with a bold shoe and you don't want your shoes necessarily peeking out as you walk, be mindful of that. Then you're probably not going to opt for a bolder shoe if you don't like the look of that. You're going to go with something that's going to really blend with the color of the dress for a barely there style shoe. Trend number six, bridal jackets. We are seeing all these different components, which we talked about last week, removable component. So an accessory that's been popular is a removable jacket, whether it's for the ceremony for more coverage, if you're more conservative, or if it's for the reception, like a leather jacket or some sort of a shrug. We're definitely seeing lots of leather jackets with customization on the back, which we did talk about last week, customization on dresses and things like that with embroidery. Maybe it's your monogram or your new last name initials, whatever it is, but definitely this element of personalization. So we're definitely seeing a lot of components of a jacket, bolero, so many variations. We're seeing faux fur, leather, lace, tulle, different fabrics. That's something that's really hot right now, creating a super dynamic and a different look, fun for photography, fun element of surprise for you and your guests. And if it's a cold temperature, that's a benefit for you so that you can stay warm as you go into the evening. Trend number seven, bridal capes. Also touched on this last week. This is something that we're seeing that has become so popular that instead of wearing a veil, brides are opting for a cape for a super dynamic look. We do have our designers that make matching capes to dresses, or you can mix and match and really create a very personalized look for your wedding day. So if you didn't want to do a jacket, a cape is a great option going into the evening. It's just so fashionable and fun to play around with to incorporate this other element into your wedding look. Trend number eight, which I believe is the hottest trend of 2023, personally, when it comes to accessories, gloves. Gloves are back in a whole new way. There are so many fun things that our designers are doing, different lengths, different textures, different materials. I do have a video about gloves and various logistics to consider in terms of rings and all that jazz. I will link that for you below as well. 
I am a huge fan of gloves and you will see on our social media that we've been making as much content as we can with gloves because it's fun. We haven't had them in store in a really long time and I'm so happy that our designers and the industry decided to bring that back in. It's literally one of my favorite trends that have recently made a comeback and is coming back so, so strong. Trend number nine is a statement clutch. We have of course seen clutches that say misses on it, personalized clutches, the personalization thing is a whole new thing. Really bold embellishment clutches are something that you're not necessarily maybe carrying around all night, but it is nice to have something that's there that someone is leaving at your table that has your lipstick and phone and just little various things that you may need throughout the evening, a breath mint, Advil, you never know. Good to always have it, but definitely also really nice for your photographer to have those detail shots prior to the wedding with your rings. It's a nice little component to have with your shoes, the clutch, the whole deal, and you could really play with it and have a lot of fun just styling a different clutch. It's something that some brides actually really opt out of and don't even think about, and they're like, nope, don't need a clutch, I'm good. But again, as you've learned, I love shoes and purses, so this is also a trend that I really, really enjoy, and I think that it's a really neat thing for you to incorporate. And if you really think about it. Some of these accessories that we've talked about in this video are things that you can re-wear after the wedding. So if you had a clutch done specifically for your wedding that's customized or sparkle, something really bold and unique, that's something that you get to carry at any other wedding that you go to, any formal events that you attend. So these are pieces that are actually fun to really invest in because there's something that you can carry throughout your marriage and wear it after your wedding day. Oftentimes on wedding day, right, you're wearing it once and you're done, but your shoes, your clutch, your accessories, especially the earrings, necklace, bracelet, all of those things, those are things that can be reworn. So I am actually a huge fan of really investing into these pieces that you get to carry on for years to come and enjoy. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like these, be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.